Uh, now you can see uh, uh, there are both uh, outflows of uh, uh, labor-intensive industries from the coast of uh, China. Uh, but uh, uh, I believe the main flow is to the central and the western part of China uh, rather than abroad. Uh, because uh, first of all, in, you see uh, uh, China has a very large population size and also the size of uh, uh, a labor force. So uh, there are, so far there are no uh, individual countries or a group of countries can uh, completely replace China's position in producing manufacturing goods. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, uh, basically uh, the demographic dividend is not only about uh, the number of workforce, but also the, the human capital of workforce. For those workers who produce uh, uh, semi-skilled uh, labor-intensive commodities uh, in China are quite, actually they, their human capital is uh, relatively high because most uh, migrant workers have uh, uh, junior, uh, junior high school diplomas. So therefore, um, uh, for some uh, countries, even though their labor force is abundant, but uh, uh, relatively the human capital is uh, uh, lower. So it takes time uh, for other countries to replace